Hello friends, this is Miss Ella. I'm happy to see you here again for a new lesson of Harmony at Home. Today we are going to learn a new song that comes from the country of Korea. And together we are going to learn how to sing it and to write some of it down, just like a composer would. I have even invited some special guests from South Korea to join us today. They are about your age and they have agreed to sing this beautiful song especially for you. I will tell you more about Korea and about their music and their instruments in a few minutes. But first, let's warm up with our weekly game. This time, let's stand up to play the game. Last week we were able to add a clap and a tap on our chest to our pattern. Let's sing it once with those two elements and then we will add one last thing to our pattern. Do, ready? Do, do, re, do, do, re, re, do, do, re, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, ti, la, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, ti, do, ti, la, fa, re, do. Are you ready to add one more thing? I think you already know that we are going to replace one of the notes with something else. Which note? What are we going to do instead? Well, this time we're going to tap on our thighs instead of singing the note T. Actually, we will keep singing it in our head. You already know how this works, so let's do it slowly together. Do. Ready? Do, do, re, do, do, re, re, do, do, re, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, la, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, do, la, fa, re, do. Did you get it right? Was it hard? Let's do it one more time. No. Ready? No, do, re, do, do, re, re, do, do, re, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, la, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, la, do, la, fa, re, do. Good job! This exercise really challenges your memory. And I bet you're getting better and better at it as we practice together. Now let's travel to Asia and discover Korea. Asia is the largest and most populous continent on Earth. There are 48 countries in Asia and about 2,300 languages are spoken there. Today we are going to concentrate on one of the countries in East Asia, South Korea. 75 years ago, Korea was divided into separate countries called North Korea and South Korea. Just a few years later, the two countries went to war and there are still tensions between them. South Korea is a small country about the size of the state of Indiana and it is home to 50 million people. South Korea has lots of hills, mountains and coastal plains and in its capital city of Seoul there are five beautiful old royal palaces. The Korean martial art, Taekwondo, is the national sport in Korea and Koreans have won more Olympic gold medals in this sport than any other country. 
Korean food is made with lots of meats, vegetables, rice and noodles. It's full of wonderful flavors and can be very spicy. What about Korean music? Traditional Korean music combines vocal and instrumental sound and sometimes includes dance. Traditional Korean musical instruments include a wide range of string, wind and percussion instruments. Let's hear what those instruments sound like. sounds transport us, don't you think? The song we will learn today will also make us feel as if we were far away. The name of the song we will be learning today is Arirang, which means my beloved one, and it's also the name of the mountainous region of South Korea. It's a 600 years old folk song that tells of a man's experience traveling over a mountain pass. Arirang is a very well-known song in Korea. Children learn it at school, and sometimes it's even considered the unofficial national anthem. As I told you in the beginning of our lesson, I have invited some special guests to perform this beautiful song for you. They are between 9 and 12 years old, probably about your age, and they will sing the Arirang song especially for you. Let's say hello to them. have someone perform just for us, isn't it? Now that you have heard the song, let's learn how to sing it. As always, we need to learn the lyrics first. Since the song is in Korean, there are some consonants that are pronounced very differently from the ones used in the English language. Don't worry, just repeat after me. We will say the words and then we will sing them one sentence after the other. Are you ready? Let's start. Listen first, then repeat after me. Arirang, arirang, arario. Arirang, arirang, arario. 
Now listen how I sing this phrase, then sing after me. This sentence is just repeating the word arirang. And as you could hear, the R I'm using is a bit like the Spanish soft R. R. Let's sing this phrase again. Ready? When we finish learning the whole song, we will take a closer look at the beginning of this phrase. You will see that with a bit of help, you will be able to write it down, the rhythm and the notes. For now, let's move on to the next sentence. Listen first. Now listen how I sing it. Now, next sentence, listen first. Naru porigo koshinen dihim un. Naru porigo koshinen dihim un. Now I will sing it. And last one. Shimri da moga so palbiomnanda. Shimri da moga so palbiomnanda. And singing it. Shimri da moga so Before we sing the whole song, let's take a closer look at the beginning of the first phrase. You will see that with all you've learned, you will be able to write it like real musicians, figuring out the rhythm and the notes. Let's do the rhythm first. Let's say it once and try to figure out the rhythm. Say the beginning with me. Arirang. Arirang. I'm sure you have noticed that the same rhythm is repeated. Arirang, arirang. What is this first note? Is it a quarter note? Let's check. This is the beat. And the beat is equal to a quarter note. Arirang. Ari. Ari. Is this first note equal to the beat? Is it shorter? Longer? It's longer. So if it's longer, maybe it's a half note. Let's check. A half note equals two beats. Now listen to the first note and try to hear if it's a half note. Ari. 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 What do you think? Could you hear it was shorter than a half note? So this first note is longer than a quarter note and shorter than a half note. Hmm, interesting. What can it be? 
To understand this rhythm, we need to add something to the symbols we already learned. If we add a dot next to the note, we are adding a half of its value. So if I add a dot next to the quarter note, I'm adding one half of the note's value. Since there are two eighth notes in one quarter note, half of the quarter note would be one eighth note. Now, if one dot next to the quarter note adds one half of the note's value, then by adding this dot, I'm extending my quarter note by half. This means that a dotted quarter note equals to one and a half beats. Ari. What are the notes that come after the dotted quarter note? Ari rang. Those are three eight notes. Look how we write this rhythm. We already know that this rhythm is repeated. What are the next notes? This is really easy. We can add one quarter note followed by four eighth notes. What is the last part of our rhythm? Yo ho ho. Again, this long note followed by a short one. You already know what those are. And we can add the last quarter note to our rhythm. Yo ho ho. And here is the first phrase. Let's say the words and clap to check if the rhythm is written correctly. Ready? Arirang, arirang, arari, yo, ho, ho. Perfect! But as you can see, we did only the first part of our job. We figured out the rhythm. But what about the pitches? Are you ready to try and find the place for those pitches on the staff and complete our mission? We will work on the beginning and will concentrate on the word arirang, which is repeated. Let's write the first note under the first line. We already know that this note is a dotted quarter note. The only way to find the other notes is by singing the phrase slowly and listening to the next note in relation to the first one. Is it higher? Lower? The same one? This is the first note. And here is the beginning of the phrase. How many different notes are there for the word arirang? Actually, there are only two notes and we move from one to the other. The next note is just above the first one. Can you hear it? What next? Well, actually, it's exactly the same thing. But does it start with the same note? Listen carefully. So, could you hear it starts with a different note? I'm sure you could. It starts with a higher note and there is a very small jump between the last note of the first arirang and the first note of the second arirang. We already know that this is a dotted quarter note as well, since this part is like the first one. And we also know that the second arirang will use only two notes. Now let's sing this part to check if we did it right. Oh, first note. Ready? Great job! This is the way pitches and rhythm are combined. This is the way we write music. I'm really proud of you. Now let's go back to our beautiful song and sing it from the beginning to the end. This time with a piano accompaniment. There will be a short introduction
played by the piano and then we will sing the song twice. The phrases are long, so be sure to take a deep breath before each phrase. And you can also stand up. This helps us sing correctly and have enough air to finish the phrases. Ready? We traveled today to South Korea and learned the song Arirang, which is the most popular traditional folk song in Korea. We also learned to write the beginning of the song using musical notes to represent both rhythm and pitch. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. I will see you next week for a lesson about a very important Russian composer and famous piece he wrote that changed the course of music history. Be sure to join me. Until then, make it a musical week.